Hello everyone, I'm David LaDuca, and I'm so glad you could join me as we explore the haiku. The haiku is a really cool form of poetry which originates from the Japanese. And a haiku is a short poem of three lines that consist of five syllables in the first, seven syllables in the second, and five syllables again in the third line. And they usually have a focus on nature or the seasons. There are a few things to remember when you're writing your haiku. The first thing to remember is that it's short and simple. There's only three lines. So it's really best to use sort of a telegram style, which means don't use extra words like and, but, and or. Also, it's really more about what you see and the imagery than actually telling a story. You should avoid metaphors and similes. There's really not enough space for all that. And the best part is it doesn't have to rhyme. There's sort of a magic formula to remember, 575. And this has to do with the amount of syllables in each of the three lines. A word like syllable has three sounds, si, la, bu. Here's an example of a haiku that'll help you remember the formula. I am the first with five. Count those out. One, two, three, four, five in the first line. The second line will have seven syllables. And the third, five again to the end. Got it? Let's look at a social distancing haiku to get our numbers right. Can we walk outside? That has five. Yes, we can, but not too close. That has seven. And please maintain distance. That has five again. So that's a perfect one. Today I'd like to do a special haiku that I like to call a fly coup. And all that means is that we're going to write a haiku about a flying creature or something in the sky or from that creature or thing's point of view. I'll show you what I mean. When you look up at the sky, you could see so many different things. There are a million different things that are in the sky at any given time that you can choose to write your haiku about. So take a good look. You could see birds, a beautiful sunset, airplane, and even things a little closer to you. But it's entirely up to you. One thing to remember is to write from the point of view, or POV, of that object. What would a bird see? What would a plane feel? What would a bee taste? I got the idea to write a fly coup while I was flying in an airplane. This is how my first one went. Plane takes off at dusk, heading west, chasing sunset, horizon on fire. You can also imagine that thing is a person. We call that personification. And we're writing from that point of view is a lot of fun too. Here's one I wrote. Trees shed autumn clothes, naked branches against sky, need their winter coats. Writing fly coups can be a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about it. So let me ask you, what will you choose to write your fly coup about? Sky's the limit. Ready, set, write.